Hey fans, welcome to the season kickoff for ProMod Trigger King Summer Series. This is Bracket 1 ProMod Competition. This is our wide open pedal to the metal class of monster truck RC racing as we take a look at qualifying results of top three in the class setting the tone it's firestone bigfoot bob c chandler with a 14 16 taking a look at the top eight and you see an outline of our track design it's a meandering track stick with us on these first couple races to get the feel for it the drivers are on the line starting outside opposing point, right? each other and heading inside on the line right now it's sudden impact and underpowered the 17 and 16 qualifiers jeremy mark with sudden impact pretty smooth and he wins the first race of the day as we move to the second race, hey, it's Goblin, Chris Hackinson, the number eight qualifier, and Purple Haze, Andy Salerno. Salerno right back up on the line. He was just driving underpowered back-to-back -back races. So he's got a little bit of race experience on this track. Will it pay off for him? So far, the answer is no, as Hackinson looking pretty solid with the brand new Goblin truck. He wins and moves to round number two. Zeus, Iron, Aaron James against Stomper, Chris Lane. We saw Chris a few years back, took the last season off and he's coming back looking to take some wins and he's looking pretty solid so far with his LMT in the far lane but James a good back straightaway and a good final straightaway and he powers to victory Atomic Orange 3 Chris Blank the number 13 qualifier and Troy Haas wild hair a new body for Troy this year. He's run the wild hair name before, but a new body. Blank in trouble in the near lane, missing a set or a ramp there. They're tight at the finish line, waiting for penalty calls. We may have to take a look at this. And there it is by penalty. Wild hair, Troy Hawes takes the victory. That missed ramp on the outside lane cost Blank big. Right now, USA 1 and Mad Dog. Haas right back up on the line with his Mad Dog truck. We've seen this truck before on the Trigger King series. Voigt in the near lane in USA 1, no stranger either. Both trucks a little bit out of shape, but Haas holding a lead smoothly and consistently and taking the win. To move on into round number two. Rotten Apple and Equalizer, Doug Welker and Chris Parrish. These two have had some great matchups over the seasons. I expect this to be the same. Two LMT trucks, one a TLR tuned version, one a standard LMT, and it looks like it's gonna go to the standard LMT Equalizer, driven by Chris Parrish this time out. Avenger Chris Lane, a new body, new identity for him, and Bigfoot One Keith Voigt. Both drivers driving their second truck in the bracket, so they've seen the track in race scenario. And right now, it looks to be all Chris Lane. NWO, Chris Hackinson, and Ballistic Orange 2, Chris Blank. The Battle of the Chrises. Chris with a K and Chris with a C. But it's an all Ford matchup out there. Neck and neck down to the final straightaway. This is going to be exciting. Wow! Did you see that finish? Narrow margin, but Ballistic Orange takes it by about a tire. Great race out there. 
right now. It's irreparable damage. Isaac Ankrum and Rotten Apple. This is a different Rotten Apple truck. It's still an LMT. This is not the TLR tuned version that we saw earlier. Ankrum in the far lane with a new truck running the black market RC chassis. Oh, and just before the finish line, devastation. And Rotten Apple sneaks in there for the victory. Amazing. Our final pair of round number one, the number 11 Indominus, Chris Parrish, with an all new S10 body from J Concepts, the extended cab version, and Old Gray, driven by Danny Borgers. The number 22 qualifier. Old Gray all out of shape in the near lane allows Indominus to take the win. Round number two of action getting started and it's our first time seeing our number one qualifier, Firestone Bigfoot, Bob C. Chandler. He faces off with Sudden Impact, Jeremy Mark from the 17 qualifier. Jeremy Mark, really known for his Taurus trucks. A great design, he does a great job with that gimmick and that identity, but also making a home with Sudden Impact, but to no benefit in this race as Firestone Bigfoot takes the measure of Sudden Impact. An 8-9 matchup. Goblin, Chris Hackinson, and Aaron James, Zeus. Oh, Goblin was making some ground and got hung up on the jersey barrier, allowing a little space to Zeus, and Zeus carries the momentum to the win. Lightning strikes down the Goblin. Wild Hair, the number 20 qualifier and number four qualifier, Red Rocket, Isaac Ankrum. I believe this is a twin Black Market RC truck to his irreparable damage we saw in round one. But right now he's in a little bit of trouble behind against Wild Hair. Neck and neck. Oh, sloppy down the final straightaway, but making it happen. Wild Hair wins this one. Hellion, Aaron Janes, and Mad Dog, Troy Haas. We've mentioned it before on TKRC TV. Haas all the way from Colorado. Janes from central northern Illinois. We've got competitors traveling from almost all across the country to Trigger King events. But in this race, it's all Hellion. Aaron James moves to round number three of ProMod action. On the line now, Wilderness Bigfoot. Firestone Wilderness from back in the day, the 97 Ford and Equalizer, Chris Parrish. This looks like a 1998 USA Motorsports matchup. This track with some similarity to some of those USA tracks. And a phenomenal race at that. Parrish pulls a little bit of a gap down the final straightaway, winning by a little less than a truck length. A great nostalgia race there. Avenger, Chris Lane on the line, and Ballistic Orange 2, Chris Blank. If you haven't noticed, Chris Blank is a big fan of the color orange, uh, running that theme through his entire team. Uh, the Orange Grove is strong with TKRC, uh, but not in this race as Chris Lane stomps some citrus into the juice. Rotten Apple and gunslinger Michael Spurlock. First time we're seeing Spurlock in the bracket. He was the number three qualifier and getting off to a jump over Welker in the Rotten Apple. Welker all out of shape over the first obstacle. Charging to make up ground. He gave it his best. 
but Welker couldn't get it done as Gunslinger holds him on his hip and puts him down at the finish line. <laughs> Our final pair in round number two. These are great frenemies on the line. Taurus, Jeremy, Mark, and Indominus, Chris Parrish. Parrish off to a big jump, looking a little ragged. A little consistency might allow Taurus to reel him in. Taurus in big trouble on the far straightaway, and Parrish will roll to the win. Round number three, here we go. It's a tough matchup for Zeus, Aaron James, the number nine qualifier. He's got the reigning champion and top qualifier for the day, Firestone Bigfoot. What can he do? Off to a good start. Chandler makes up some ground, but a little wide in the corner. Neck and neck to the final straightaway. Oh, and Chandler gets back on the ground between the obstacles and drives away to the win. Right back up on the line, Aaron Janes in Hellion gets a second shot with his second truck, facing off against Troy Hawes and Wild Hair. Oh, Wild Hair too tight on the corners and Hellion too wide on the corners. Jane's trying to make up ground and in all kinds of trouble as Haas gets it done moving on to the semi-final round. Number seven, Chris Lane in Avenger. One of the awesome world finals paint schemes in the near lane and the number 18 qualifier, Chris Parrish in Equalizer. But Equalizer off to a quick start. Lane makes up ground. Equalizer in big trouble. And from there, Lane just drives away. Oh, a little squirrely at the finish line, but he gets the rear tire across the line as he spins around. Parrish right back up on the line, facing off with the number three qualifier, Gunslinger. It's Gunslinger and Indominus. Indominus off to a quick start again. Nice sliding turn for Parrish in the near lane. Spurlock right there though. Indominus takes the win by a fairly narrow margin. It was a good race there. That sets up our semifinals, the final four. Number one, Firestone Bigfoot rolling through the bracket so far against number 20, Wild Hair. Can Troy knock off the number one qualifier? He's off to a good start in the near lane with Wild Hair, but hung up on a jersey barrier. And that's going to cost it as Chandler now rolls around the track to the finish line. Our second semifinal pair brings Chris Lane in Avenger and Chris Parrish in Indominus to the line. Lane's been off the scene for a little while, but coming back strong, can he put the Avenger truck in the finals? It's close on the final straightaway. Lane was there, but the win goes to Indominus and the Dinosaur goes to the finals. And that sets it up. The number one qualifier, Firestone Bigfoot, Bob C. Chandler, facing off with the number 11 qualifier, Chris Parrish in Indominus in our finals. This was number one and number two in the points last year. This could be a great battle. Chandler off to a quick lead. Parrish trying to reel him in, but Chandler smooth and consistent until the final straightaway. That turned into a mess. Let's take a look back at the replay. 
Chandler around that first turn, exquisitely trying to cut off part of the corner in the second corner. Parrish going wide. Chandler a little wide around the corner there, and Parrish makes up some ground in Indominus down to the final straightaway. Chandler swinging wide, but hits the obstacle just awkwardly. Both trucks, you saw it right there, missing the final obstacle with their front tires. I think that's going to be offsetting penalties. And there you see it, Firestone Bigfoot takes another victory in Pro Mod competition, setting the tone for the 2024 Summer Series. We appreciate you joining us on TKRC TV. We've got more exciting Monster Truck RC action coming to you throughout the season. Make sure to join us. We appreciate you. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>